If only for today, I want to be the girl who got away. But everyone was like, you have to call the elf girl who got away because it's so about you and, you know, like it's so typical of you to keep disappearing. In the five years since Dido's last album, she's married and given birth to a son, Stanley. She'd already written most of the album and found herself in the recording booth while heavily pregnant. I loved singing while I was pregnant. I know some people don't like it so much, but I just absolutely loved it. I felt like I had this like little friend kicking away while I was singing. And, you know, sometimes it can be lonely in the vocal booth. And, you know, also makes you incredibly efficient with your time. So if you are, like, in the studio or doing something, you know, gone are the days of sitting around drinking endless cups of tea. You know, like, it's just sort of um, in, out, bang, ruthless efficiency, you know, which, which I actually quite enjoy. It's 14 years since Dido forged a solo career after singing backing vocals for her brother's band, Faithless. She recalls her first TV performance on CNN's music show, World Beat. I remember back, I think that, that, that show was the first time I'd probably done anything on TV and it was um, very exciting. And, um, and uh, I couldn't possibly have known what was going to happen. You know, for me, I was just so excited to be performing anywhere, you know, and I was going around performing in all the radio stations. Most often, you know, I wouldn't even get on the air. It would be, it would be sort of performing in the lobby or the kitchen or, you know, the bathroom of the radio station. And but I was just so happy and so happy to be singing my songs and, you know, having this huge adventure. My tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. But it was Eminem sampling of her song, Thank You, which propelled Dido into the spotlight, and the singer has continued her love of hip-hop music. And my career started with singing hooks to hip-hop tracks and, and dance tracks, and, you know, that was my beginnings. And, and um, so for me, it's like a perfect combination. I think the other thing is, you know, for me, hip-hop artists are often just the greatest storytellers around you know like someone like Eminem is just a brilliant brilliant storyteller you know and, and the way he can describe the world and the images that he uses and her involvement with hip-hop artists continues on her new album with Kendrick Lamar rapping on one of the standout tracks let us move on like the waters in the open sea when tribulation come on we can say it's hopefully and yes, same with Kendrick you know he tells these stories and the imagery and and you know I just love that with my music when I'm writing songs I'm trying to do that but there's only so much I can do and then you know like I think there's something about rap that can just really tell a brilliant story in addition to the song no love without freedom Dido's last record, Safe Trip Home, was a commercial disappointment. But with career sales of 30 million albums, the British singer-songwriter is hoping her latest release will continue the success which has made her one of the world's best-selling artists. No freedom without love. Neil Curry, CNN, London.